Hello learners, this is Easy Engineering. Today we're going to talk about another fun topic in physics. It is all about the Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Kepler's laws of planetary motion are laws describing the motions of the planets in the solar system. They were derived by the German astronomer Johannes Kepler. There are three laws of planetary motion. Let us talk about them one by one. Kepler's first law of planetary motion sometimes referred to as the loss of ellipsis, can be stated as all planets move about the sun in elliptical orbits, having the sun as one of the foci. This means that planets are orbiting the sun in a path described as an ellipse. This is a picture of an ellipse. Suppose this ellipse is where the planet Earth moves. The Earth moves along the ellipse around the sun. The sun is located at either one of four sides of the ellipse. Now let us move on to the second law. Kepler's second law of planetary motion, sometimes referred to as the law of equal areas, can be stated as a radius vector joining any planet to the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal lengths of time. The second law describes the speed at which any given planet will move while orbiting the sun. Know that when a planet is close to the sun, it moves fast, but when a planet is far from the sun, it moves slowly. So if we draw an imaginary line of the movement of the planet and the sun for every month of the year, we can see that when the planet is close to the sun, it will form a wide but short triangle. And when the planet is far from the sun, it will form a thin but long triangle. The Earth would have to adjust its movements in order to match the imaginary area. Did you know that the knowledge of Kepler's second law has proved the importance of Newton's law of gravitation? Newton showed that the motion of bodies subject to central gravitational force does not always follow the elliptical orbits as specified by the first law of Kepler. But instead, planets or other heavenly bodies can take paths defined by other open conic curves. Amazing, right? Now let us move on to the Kepler's planetary motion, sometimes referred to as the law of harmonies, can be stated as the squares of the sidereal periods of the planets are directly proportional to the cubes of their mean distances from the sun. It compares the orbital period and radius of orbit of a planet to those of other planets. It is the ratio of the squares of the periods to the cubes of their average distances from the sun is the same for every one of the planets. The comparison of each planet can be shown in this illustration. Now, what does that mean? Kepler's third law means how long a planet takes to go around the sun, which is its period, is related to the planet's mean distance from the sun. That is, the square of the period divided by the cube of the mean distance is equal to a constant. And for every planet, no matter what is period or distance, t squared over r cube is the same number. And that's it. Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you certainly did. See you again next time for more interesting and fun topics only here in Is Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.